Well, hello, sunshine. We are still going strong for the Destiny Designers University launch. I tell you, each moment that passes, I continue to be more grateful, more thankful, more appreciative of what God is allowing to happen in this moment, allowing for me to continue to bring to you the best and the brightest on the planet, individuals who believe in this platform and what I'm doing with launching Destiny Designers University, individuals who sit in my front row that I like to play with. And of course, I only play with the best. And it's the ones who are bringing their value to the marketplace. They understand that this life is about collaborative, achievement-driven relationships. So as we focus on what is next for us, as we focus on all the wonderful things that you'll be able to tap into as a member of Destiny Designers University, you get to meet some incredible people who are not just talking about it, they are living it each and every day. And what impresses me the most is that their hearts are so huge and they're truly committed to making a difference, not just to millions, but even if it's one-on-one -on -one, to make sure that you understand your value and what it is that you are contributing to our global marketplace. So now I have the global visibility expert here with us today. She is absolutely the bomb.com. You might know her or seen her name around because she produces a pretty popular morning radio show for Tom Joyner, but she's an author, she's a speaker, she's a teacher, she's a coach, she's everything bottled up into this beautiful body of giving back her expertise, her talents, of what she has learned to help people really get seen. If you're doing good things and nobody knows about you, well, it's a little rough <laughs> coming up the side of the mountain. But if you can get that visibility, if you can just position yourself to share your value, the whole world can and will change. So I'm grateful. I'm excited to introduce to you my girl, Miss Nikki Woods. Woo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. It's like, I'm just so always in awesome of you and Oh, I'm sorry. You and your energy, and, and I love being in the same space with you because I walk away with just the best feeling. So I am so happy to be here to talk with you about this stuff today. Thank you so much, Nikki. And you know, we're just excited to have you and and understand what you're doing. You know, on so many different levels to make a difference. It's just. It's beyond impressive. It's the reality and the authenticity of who you are and how humble you are doing your work, not looking for the accolades, but just consistently making a difference in people's lives. Nikki, what was your inspiration and where was the connection made when you realized what God had given you and how you wanted to use and share that with the world? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I think that it's just something I've always done. I think that I started to move in it, I think, more gracefully when I stopped <laughs> when I stopped fighting it. I think for a lot of us, our purpose and our passion is so deeply connected to who we are that we do it and we don't even think about it. Mm. It's like we, you know, somebody told me one time that just hearing me talk was a blessing because I had such a great voice. And my response was like, you know, it's just, that's what I do. I just talk, you know, it's not like I do anything different, but being in radio, obviously that's a great quality to have. And so it's like, we look beyond and we look for something that's, you know, you know, making noise and thunder and bolts and lightning. And, and sometimes it's just who we are and how we do what we do. And so once I realized that, I think I became uh, inspired to do more of that and just to be, you know, more of who I am and offer that in, on different different levels. I think all of my career and, and m my purpose is bottled up in people being seen mm -hmm. uh, and being heard and their messages, you know, being delivered to the world and what that looks like. So whether it's radio or YouTube or writing a book or writing a blog or talking to different people who do different things, it's all about the message and how that's delivered. And that's just who I am and what I do. And so accepting that instead of looking outside of that for something, you know, that's going to come with glitter and gold, it's just who I am. And I think that's what's inspiring. That is awesome. And, you know, getting to that place where you just accept who you are and how fabulous you are, because sometimes we try to, like you said, we want all the lightning bolts and everything to come out of the sky and say, whoa, you're here, but you have it. And that unique, authentic yeah. place 
that you live in. That's so amazing. So in your work, doing this work around being a global visibility expert, what have you found as a common thread when you're working with people, when you're talking with people, how do they move to that understanding? What do you find has helped them the most and helped you really be able to show them this is where you need to be. And, you know, in order for them to work with you and to invest in and to understand that, what has been that common thread that has allowed you to open up the conversation even more? Well, I work with a lot of businesses and I work with a lot of people who are trying to develop their brand. And so it's moving them from a place of selling, I guess, to serving. Um, it's moving them from broadcasting what they're doing to having conversations, real conversations and interactions around that. I mean, I think that we have moved beyond um, using social media just to connect with friends and family. And we realize how beneficial it can be for our business. But it's continuing to have those conversations and not just selling uh, what you're doing, which I think is the biggest switch for people. Um, and learning that even though with social media and it's online, it's really still about being social uh, and interacting and serving and giving value um, to people. I think once you give value, people will then invest in whatever you're doing, but you have to give that value first. So that, that's the switch from selling to serving. And when you do that, it's, it's over. It's done. Your visibility becomes almost not instantaneous, but it starts to, to grow quite quickly. Absolutely. I mean, that's one of the favorite quotes that I use all the time comes from Gandhi. He says, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And I think that's huge because when you can help people get what they want, when you can help them and serve them in a way that brings value, you automatically have a lifelong commitment because all of us want to know that somebody cares. All of us wants to know that someone can be helpful, that we're not just trying to take from life, but we're actually giving. So if you were to give just one little nugget that we're going to put in the feed. Now, Nikki has said a lot of things. So if you heard something that resonated with you, that you're like, wow, I didn't think about it like that. Go from selling to serving. Put that in the feed at Nikki Woods. Let people know what it is that's, that's happening right now, what we're sharing. I'm bringing you the experts. You're getting just a little teaser on what's possible and what you'll be able to have access to in Destiny Designers University. So share it out. Let people know about Nikki Woods and what she's saying here right now. And Nikki, we'll give them one more just because the holidays are here and we're in a giving, extra giving <laughs> mood. <laughs> What would be one tip you would give them as they think about closing out this year strong? There's less than, what, 40, 30 days left in the year. What can they do? One thing that they can do to really position themselves to take advantage of working with someone like you and investing in some of the classes that we'll be offering, but they can do on their own right now. Well, I think the biggest thing is just start. I mean, not to write this year off. I think that if we want to start 2015 strong, we have to end 2014 strong. We can't just say, okay, the holidays are here. Nobody's paying attention. You know, as an entrepreneur, we don't have days off. We don't sleep full night. You know, hustlers take naps. We don't go to bed. <laughs> <I love laughs> That's what you have to keep in mind. I mean, whatever whatever your area is, is to either start or or turn up what you what you're doing. Um, we don't we don't stop serving because it's the holidays. We don't stop giving because it's the holidays. We don't sit back and and wait. And those who are great, I don't think ever do. Um, people ask, like, you know, with all of that, you know, the things that I'm doing, how do I continue to do it? And it's like asking me how I continue to breathe. Mm. You just do it. It's just who we are. And so once you find that place, if you haven't found it yet, that place within you that that wakes you up every morning, keeps you up at night, gets you out of bed when you want to be, you know, watching. I been <laughs> I discovered Netflix and that was probably the worst thing that I could do because you can watch a whole season <laughs> of something on a Saturday. But, it, but I, sometimes I can't do it because I know there's somebody that I can be helping. And when you come from that place, it's not work. It's never work. It's just what we do. I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do it any other way. And so you have to find that. And when you find that, you have to start. Uh, and you have to start offering it to the world. Um, and it's just like a snowball effect. Awesome. Hashtag start now at Nikki Woods. And here's my favorite one. Hustlers take naps so we don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
I sleep in two hour intervals, you know, because it's, it's just who we are. And it brings me so much joy that I don't want to miss any of it. There's going to be a time when I sleep through the night, but I, it's not going to be for a few decades. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then the added bonus is that we share the Jamaican heritage. And you know, that old joke from a, a show way back when that said we have 10 jobs. <laughs> We have a, exactly. lot, a lot of things to do, but Nikki, I know your time is extra valuable and I just appreciate you taking time out and committing to be here and to just share a little bit of the wonder of who you are. And if people want to find out more, they want to connect with you and follow what you're doing in addition to having access to you in Destiny Designers University, how can they do that? Well, they can just Google me, Nikki Woods, N-I-K-K-I-W-O-O-D-S. That's where I am on all the platforms, Twitter, Facebook, all social media. And I always tell people it's easier to tweet me than to call me. So, <laughs> so it, it really is a great way to find me and what I'm doing. And then my website is NikkiWoodsMedia.com. But I just want to take a moment to applaud you because this is quite the undertaking. So I appreciate you being... <laughs> obedient to the spirit and giving you know a place for us all what no matter what level we're on i mean you provide that excellence that inner you know that that education that information and and that connection for us to develop relationships and collaborations and that's you know part of the support system we need as entrepreneurs um and so i appreciate you for doing that well thank you thank you so much my sister i just i tell you you are amazing you continue to inspire me inspire so many god's blessings on what you're doing and i can't wait to play and have some more fun as we turn up full throttle for 2015 and i wish you blessings for the holidays everybody stay tuned you don't know who's next and make sure you go on the feed nikki might pop by and actually answer you so go ahead to destiny designers <laughs> university or destiny designers community on Facebook, just do a search. It'll be right there. You can actually share it on the top of your screen. See a little Facebook icon or Twitter icon and just share that out. And we'll be right back. Bye-bye, Nikki. Bye, Stacey. Thank you. You're welcome.